Three. Good afternoon, everyone out there in the recruiting world. Uh, my name is Carl Taylor with Midwest Athletics. We have another uh, outstanding student athlete coming out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. We are here with 21 two-sport athlete Trinidad uh, Chambers uh, from Forest Hills Northern out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. How are you doing, Trinidad? I'm doing good, Mr. Taylor. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. So Trinidad is a two-sport athlete, plays football and basketball at uh, Forest Hills Northern. Trinidad is one of those kids that the uh, rare talent that, you know, has not been uh, um, been out there exposing himself. Um, so we're going to talk to Trinidad. It takes a few minutes to get to know him. So Trinidad, you go to Forest Hills Northern. So tell us a little about Forest Hills Northern and yourself. You know, what type of school is Forest Hills Northern in Grand Rapids? Uh, the type of person you are. Okay. Um, Forest Hills Northern is a high standard academic school. Um, they're actually ranked fourth in the uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan metro area for high schools. Oh, they're ranked okay. 20th in the state of Michigan for high schools. And then out of 40,000 high schools, they're ranked 772. So, oh, dang. Academic. Dang. So, uh, you are a three point uh, GPA student athlete. Um, are you taking any type of uh, honors classes? You know, what are some of your most challenging classes? Um, I'm taking AP, Environmental Science. That's oh, nice. my uh, one honors class since, yeah. AP. Oh, wow. And yeah, that's yeah. way above my head. I, I, I think I tried to take uh, chemistry uh, in, in high school myself and uh, did pretty well. But, you know, I, AP class was pretty tough. A lot of you kids are taking those AP courses. And uh, I can see why, because the fact is, you know, getting that extra academics, to, you know, to get yourself educated and get those high academic standards, especially schools are looking for uh, kids like yourself with taking these tougher courses because they'll know that you can do well in, in college as well. How is e-learning going so far? I know, I know you guys have been out uh, in school, out of school, but doing learning online. How is that going? Uh, it's been good. At the beginning, it was a little, you know, a little slower, but mm -hmm. I just had to find my daily schedule with all the websites and stuff that the teacher sent out so I could get login information just to find out what I was going to do on those uh, websites. So, but now it's been good. I've been doing all my work and I've been cruising through it. So it's been good. That's good. That's good that you're ending off on a good note too. And, you know, some kids did start off, uh, you know, not understanding how to do e-learning. They rather learn in front of the, the teacher, but, you know, glad you're able to hold on to it. So Trinidad, being a two sport athlete uh, at Forest Hills uh, Northern, you know, you're six foot, 180, you know, play quarterback and play point guard on a basketball team. How uh, long have you been on a varsity squad? Uh, I've been on the varsity uh, team for football and basketball since my sophomore year. So I'm going to be oh, wow. a three-year letterman. Oh, wow. So three-year letterman. That's, that's really challenging to be a three-year letterman at a, uh, uh, one of the top schools uh, in the state, meaning divisions, because I believe um, um, you guys are in the top or upper divisions with at Forest Hills Northern uh, Division One and Two, and some, depending on what sport you play, what is it that, that makes it special to play for Northern? Um, to play at Northern, uh, we have tradition. Our motto is play smart, play hard, and play together. So that's just our motto at Northern, and it's been really fun, you know, creating memories with my teams, football and basketball, with my coaches. It's just really a good experience. Awesome. So – Getting into all of a sudden about Northern, now let's get into you. You as an athlete, we're talking about your student athlete and how you're studying in school. Let's talk about you as a, uh, it's your skill set. You know, I know you're a two-sport athlete. Um, what makes this, what are, what it makes this special, kid? I saw your film from football and basketball, and I see you're a very talented young man playing quarterback and playing point guard. What, what you know, what is the skill set that you have that uh, coaches should know about? Uh, coach to know that um, I'm a coachable kid and that I love I uh, am a hard worker and that I will give everything that I have for the program that I play for and also for football I make good reads I can read the defenses and just you know when to like pull it or to throw that you know in route or out route or slant also with basketball to make that pass or you know know when to dribble drive and make that layup so they should just know that about me. It's awesome, and, and that's kind of what I saw in your film a lot, where I saw you throw the deep out or the long pass, or when you were tucking and run, no one could catch on the field. Uh, and I know that, uh, my understanding, uh, you've been clocked at a 4-5, four, 4 
that's my understanding. And you can see that on the court as well, you know, by you man the read. And so those are the skills that I think, how has basketball and football helped each other out for you and your perspective? Um, basketball and football help out either way. Um, like in football, I'm the quarterback. So I need to know what everyone's doing and I need to uh, illustrate the play and just know that what uh, route I'm going to go to or, you know, if I'm going to pull it or read it, you know, just know what offense we're running. And mm -hmm. then also for basketball, me being the point guard, I need to know what guys are doing. You know, they're going to set the screen. They're going to roll. They're going to pop. You know, just, you know, in-game thinking. So works out both ways. Those X's, those X's and O's, I think, that help, you know, um, you know, some kids say, you know, that are student of the game. What would you say about yourself, about learning the game? How, how have you come so far? Um, I'd like to say that I'm really coachable and I'm a student of the game. I'm always uh, breaking down film with my dad and coaches and just trying to learn more about the game and, you know, understand it better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's a good thing that you are doing that. Uh, because the fact is, you know, you got to understand the only way you get better is watching that film over and over again. You know, uh, you say now, you know, you're a leader of the field and, um, you know, you, you're you student of the game. What is your slogan about yourself then? You know, tell us a little bit about that. You know, what is, what gets you up? You know, Nike has, just do it. What is, what is your slogan, Trinidad? Uh, I like to say hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. See, I don't want to be known as just for me having talent. I want to be known as a hard worker and, you know, working hard for my team and my program. Uh, oh, that's, you know, if people get left behind if you don't work hard, definitely. And, you know, knowing that you're doing well in school and, you know, doing that on the football field, you know, coaches can, um, I would say, uh, respect you. They will trust you uh, so that so if you're doing all that hard work, definitely, you know, there's just someone to be looking out for. Who's been a biggest influence so far in your growth um, from a student athlete for a student athlete? Uh, both my parents have been great influencers in my life uh, and my uh, family, my brother, too. Uh, they just, you know, grew me up and, you know, just taught really good lessons as mm -hmm. I grew up and, you know, just – trying to be um yes yeah they hold me accountable okay um so going forward you know you didn't uh um do any cancer understanding last year uh you had a little minor injury that you had um and you were looking to get exposure this year tell me a little bit about what was going on last year and what was your expectation this year and, and going in the future um last year yeah i had a minor uh injury um, you know, I was planning on going to some camps that I just couldn't attend because of my injury. But for the future and for the senior year, uh, I plan on, you know, working hard, like I said, and, you know, bringing wins to the team and my program. And coach should know that, that I'm just going to, you know, give it all I got and just work hard. And so with that being said, what should coaches know, you know, about Trinidad as a player? exposed student athlete that we happen to meet and watch the film and I love the film you know from what I could tell um you're a great you know a game you know you've gone against the big schools you go against East Grand Rapids which is a big school here in, in the Michigan and some of the other schools over in the west side of the state what should they know about your skill set as a player on and off the field and what they would be getting uh they would be getting a hard worker like I said a student of the game uh, I like to say I'm very coachable. Coach can coach me. I can take uh, criticism. And also during game, I feel like I'm a great decision maker and I can make great decisions when playing. And I just know a feel for the game. All right. Well, Trinidad, it's great meeting you this evening. I hope all is going well in your recruiting process and, and look forward to see how things work out for you. Um, you know, you're definitely a kid that uh, I believe that coaches are going to want to review their film and take a, a, a snip at you because, you, you know, being six foot and 180 uh, as a quarterback and with the speed that you can play on multiple levels uh, on, on the football field as well on a basketball court, uh, is definitely somebody that should be uh, reviewed and coaches should be one to recruit. So thank you for taking your time and I appreciate it and have a good night. Thank you for having me. Thank you.